everybody back uh post edit jugan here uh, i want to let everybody know that when at the end of this video when providence kneels to pray it abruptly cuts and anybody caught it live knows that there was a whole scene and everything but the reason i cut it because i'm retconning everything after that because something happens at the end of this episode where i misinterpreted and it needs to be retconned so i can fix it for the next episode on the 11th the 11th, by the way, will be our last episode while I am on break moving to California. Just give you all a heads up, too. So uh, make sure you tune in on Twitch. Links are down in the description to catch our last live episode of the continuation of this story uh, before I go on break for a while. So anyway, enjoy the video and enjoy the session. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever you're watching it, you know. Yeah, love you all. Bye. Yeah, welcome in everybody. Uh, this is Goblets and Warlots. This is Order of the Goblets, episode fifteen, and you know all the crazy stuff. We will not have Jr. tonight. The other one that plays Isam, um, because he is traveling. My understanding, so he will not be able to join us. So he be on effectively on NPC mode. Right, party? NPC mode? Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll completely forget about him. <laughs> Good. Because I don't want to try to roleplay his character. Anyway. Can we uh, <laughs> please put shoes into his inventory? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway. But his character wears shoes, doesn't he? No. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite uh, um, part is. If you don't want to leave your favorite part, leave your favorite emoji. Uh, we also dropped today the very first episode of the Black Order, and uh, if that if that gets twenty lights, the whole crew on that side they get a D twenty for the next episode. If there's twenty lights on that one for on what on the video on YouTube, if it gets twenty lights, the order the Black Order crew gets a D twenty. So, and we it's also not. have. And we also decided to live stream that to TikTok. So if I know I saw it on TikTok last night. I got really excited, so I lurked. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, that was a, like a last spur of the moment thing. I asked them if they wanted to because I was set up to do it. So like, we're gonna try that. Let's see how that works. So uh, make sure you head over to my TikTok, and that's where I'll be live streaming it if you want to catch it live. Uh, we don't do really any interactions with chat, but you know. It's just there if you want to catch it live and watch it on your phone in that, you know, panoramic. Um, if not, just head over to the YouTube and catch it there. And there is stretch goals. So uh, every 50, it's in 50 increments of subscribers. So the next one is 400 subscribers. I think I'm five away now or four away or something like that. And they get advantage for the first one. Um, and then 1,000 subscribers, if we make it that far on YouTube, uh, Nerd Holla is going to paint all the character minis from there like the 75 millimeter ones and do giveaways for them so yeah that's the thing um. oldman 164 peekaboo oh <laughs> uh zen uh thank you for the description who you want to give advantage to <clears throat> um yeah, so I don't know where I was at. So yeah, those are that. If you're, join, if you're not a member of Discord, come join the Discord exclamation point Discord. Uh, there's other rewards uh, exclamation point rewards. Uh, there's an ad break right now. I guess I'll wait. There's like ten seconds of an ad break. Uh, I hate ad breaks too, so I have them set up for uh, every thirty. Or when it do is only thirty seconds. So and, and then you won't have another one for like a while. But um, yeah. All right, the ad break is done. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, exclamation point rewards. That shows you what you can do. So since Zen just resubscribed, uh, you can give a vanish to any of the players you like, uh, Zen. So go ahead and just uh, put it in chat who you want to give an advantage to. And uh, thank you for your subscription. Welcome back. Enjoy those emotes. And yeah, um, if you want some merch, exclamation point merch. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, I'm planning on getting some more painting done, so I'll do a painting stream tomorrow. 
And then our next actual live D&D play is Friday for Dragonlance, where uh, Old Man Garrus' character had just died. So they're dealing with the fallout of that. Um, yeah, that's going to be an emotional one. So uh, tune in for that. But yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, Zen uh, gives uh, Jean a, an advantage. Yay. All right, let's turn it over. Well, JR, the nerd, at <laughs> Twitch TV. I don't know what he's got going on. I know he's traveling right now. Uh, so uh, he plays some D&D &D and other, among other games. So yeah, make sure you tune in to him. Links to those down in the description. Uh, Silver Wolf, you started back streaming on Fridays. Are you streaming this Friday? I'm hoping so. I am very hoping so that I stream back on this Friday around 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Sorry, he's a little upset, so. All right. Well, yeah, Zen, Old Man Gears died. Make sure you go check out the VOD. Or I have it prepped to edit. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'll probably have the video up tomorrow. But, yeah, he died. All right. His character died. Yeah, his character died. <laughs> his character. <laughs> Let me preface. Belrum is no longer in the game. Belrum had died, not Garrus himself. G Garrus is dead? What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, let's get into a nice episode, shall we? Grab your goblet, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And welcome back. With that being said, uh, Fane has rolled the lowest tonight. So, Fane, you have recap. Okay. So, Orc God Tozak, I have a problem. Actually, no, hold that thought. Um, Miss Silfrena, I have a problem. Uh, the rest of the group is really funny about jenny my new pet ghost and we're supposed to be going to a town soon and they just want me to hide from everyone and they one of them said he was gonna just throw a blanket over me but i don't think that's gonna hide jenny that's just gonna hide me but i i don't know there's an issue there i think she's great also or god tozak i think you would like her she makes weird groany noises and sometimes if i jump backwards fast enough I, I touch her and it sends like chills all up my spine. She's really creepy. Um, but yeah, we'll figure that out. Uh, other than that, we just kind of traveled lately. It's a bit boring. You'd think it'd be more fun with more people, but it's just kind of the same. But I got to ride on top of a, of a wagon and I saw everything and no one else saw anything. It happened, you can ask them. Uh, 
Just maybe not anytime soon. Because let them forget first. Um, yeah. And we, oh, and we even saw these old ladies. And everyone else, well, not everyone, but a couple of other people in the group were all like, but they're old ladies. They should, we should take care of them. But like, you don't get to be 417 years old without being really strong. So obviously they're fine. Um, yeah. And then uh, we kept traveling because they didn't need protection. And and we got to, um, we got to that, that, tavern with with uh Haley. I think her name was Haley. Um and only Haley wasn't there, but she was there. She just was in the basement. Um but she doesn't own the tavern anymore cuz we have the deed now, but no one wants to just run a tavern on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. So I think we might try to sell that at some point instead of just like retiring into normal work but yeah um yeah everyone there was dead it was kind of weird but i or at least unexpected but i'm sure they all died nicely they'll be fine um we took all their stuff too the rest of the group was all like "Ooh, we don't take wedding rings but it's fine um now those rings will just get used for two other people to continue being a symbol of love instead of rusting in the ground or something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that happened today. Um, not much else to report. Uh, anyways, talk to you guys later. Hope you're enjoying uh, being in the same prayer occasionally. Uh, Yeah. You you forgot something very, very important at the very end of the episode. I didn't forget. Fane would not report that to to either well, of them. It's a recap. <laughs> Fane also found a, a, a dagger that's been stalking her and Prue for a while. And oddly enough, that's where we pick up. As you picked up this dagger, it spoke to you. Fane, I'm going to need a constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Where's the others? Disadvantage. Ooh, that's not horrible. Um, with a plus zero, that's a nine. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, who's down there with you? Is John? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. John, you see Fame pick up his dagger that you you have been described before. Like blackness washes over her eyes, and as she's holding this dagger, looking at it flames around her wrist and her hand bust open. Thane, you take As long as it's less than 67 points, we're good. 30 points of fire damage. Oh, that's easy. As Ooh, the easy. flames in night, John, you see this. Her the flames in night, circling this dagger in her hand and into her forearm, as pain reaches through her body, she gives out an uncontrollable scream. Ow! This, and as what happens, you see before your eyes, John. The dagger. It's almost like it goes under the skin. And Fane, as you're looking down at this, there is like a tan on your bright green skin, like a tan outline of the dagger that's within your hand in your arm. Is and it my dominant hand or my non-dominant? 
it's your right, whichever one you picked it up with is part of your dominant hand because you. Okay, so my left hand. Left. Okay, I'm using my right hand. Whatever. Yep. Uh, you see in the left hand, <laughs> tan gray <laughs> outline of this dagger that she just picked up as the flames subside. And as she looks up, her left eye, because it's her uh, left eye, is turned black. Oh, but I can't see it, man. <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> That's new. Persimmon has not done that before. Just, just as a comment. Did we um, hear that? Yeah. If, if, yeah, if she screamed, uh, Providence is immediately drawing her great sword and running down the stairs. I was like, right. Kalis would also be running down yeah. there. Uh, like, I, thank you, Nor, for the resubscription. You can give advantage to anybody you like. Put it in chat, please. Just saying, one of us almost took their max health and damage right now, so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, you guys hear her scream, uh, as, well, no, Kalis, you, uh, you, Assam, and... Glitch. You, Assam, and Glitch, uh, I think we're out doing a patrol, right? That's where we... Yeah, I at. left the basement. Yeah, you, Glitch... Yeah, we went upstairs, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they wanted to pull you out so they could loot the bodies because y'all were so against it. I don't know where Bro. Arnis was. Was at. I, I was upstairs. I was going to the horses. All right. So like right. everybody. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, thank you, uh, Silver, for the resub. Uh, glitch, you get advantage. Poof, I already did going it. Going to Assam. Assam's not even here, Nora. <laughs> but yeah, somebody uh, else is cool. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, this song gets it. He's just not here to use it right now, so. Uh, it doesn't expire. It doesn't matter. So somebody just put it in the chat. I already did. Or, 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 oh, he has the rewards up right now. So uh, as you guys run down Providence, you see like the glowing red of the outline in her arm, and John, you have the you're the first to see this. Are you doing anything? I. Well, I, I don't. I don't necessarily know what to do. I I like take a step back cautiously. I. Uh, that's. Did that hurt? No. All right. <laughs> I'll take your word on that. Mm -hmm. I imagine above table. I imagine it still hurts if it did that much damage. <laughs> Yeah, it, you feel the after leaning burn. You just. Mm -hmm. It's not continue. It's not. The 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 damage was when it caught on fire. And, yeah. Okay. But it, you, you feel is, the throb, throbbing. There we go. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. You feel the is throbbing. The, is it in my hand or like all down the forearm? It starts in the palm of the hand, like the hilt, because mm -hmm. you're, you're holding it like this. Yeah. And it goes down the forearm and. Is that same one you see the six heads of the dragon that y'all yeah. saw engraved on it? It's just literally like it kind of sunk in and it almost kind of looks like a tattoo now. Cool. All right. Have I made it downstairs yet? Yeah, uh, I would say, yeah, you can make it downstairs. I was trying to get John a chance to react first because he was there. That's fair. Yep. Yeah, so she literally has her great sword drawn. She's like two handing it, and she's just yelling like, "What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong?" Fain, are you okay? Did JR hurt? Uh, did uh, did JP hurt you? No, First he... off, rude. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? Nothing. Can you tell me she's hurt? Nothing. No. Fain, show me your hands. Flip it over. <laughs> Uh, she's going to stagger back a little bit as she sees this. Like, what just happened? Uh, Persimmon has more tricks than we thought. Uh, she's going to start yelling out for Kalis. Um, I would also call it for Asan, but he's not here. Um, and she's like... 
Others, can you see that? What's on her wrist? It's a, it's like a, it's like a dagger. So you can see that. I saw it before she picked it up. Yeah. What do you mean you saw it? Was it here? I, I don't. I mean, yeah, that it was a, it was a dagger. Bane, are you saying it's inside of you now? Um, I you think definitely so. Definitely the black eye too, Providence. It's the solid yeah. black eye. Anyway. Oh, I'm gonna need a wisdom save. Um. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me use my orcish stubbornness if you do. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> so it's not my fault. First. No, I just, I, I don't want that in you. I mean, we can try we to, to get cut it out. it out if you want. We just cut it off. Well, not not my whole arm. I like my arm. I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> but I don't. I don't think there's actually like a dagger in there because it still feels fleshy. Uh, Am I somewhere gonna... that I can hear them yelling? You're, I will use yeah, I thought you were coming yell. down. Oh, I thought you said I was outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. You didn't hear. Yeah, I will be outside. using thaumaturgy to yell. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is now is it is now audible for three hundred feet. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I, I forgot you have keen senses and whatever. So yeah, you could hear them. Then I turn around and I make my way back that way. All right. Glitch, um, can you... I can I send off um uh what is it the the wild magic detection thing? You did it already. I think I can do it three times, can't I? Ooh, maybe it's once per day. I think it is once per day. No, nope, three times per day. Three, three times per long rest. Okay. Are you doing it? Can, yes, can I sense anything from her arm? Yep. As you sense the arm, you can see underneath it's got this blackness and it's heading up her arm slowly. Pain, give me your arm. Give me your arm quick, quick, quick. Why? It's, it's moving up. We got, please give me your arm. Pain, you don't see anything. You just see the dagger there. Uh, Providence That's is what's going on. It's right there. there. There's a dagger in her arm. And she's going to start to actually push against the skin just before the, the dagger is moving up. See if it stops. That's like pressure points. She's so going to squeeze harder. You don't feel the dagger. I know, but I should be able to see it moving up. It's not. I no, want to see if it. No, so no, it's, I, I misspoke. It's not the dagger moving. It's like how you say it. Like you have an affection. Sometimes it's mistreating. It starts going to your heart. You see like the like a. It's almost kind of like it, a liquid stuff branching off. From it where looks like blood are. poisoning going up. Yeah, the, there you the go. Thing. Blood poisoning. Yeah. Bane, I want to cut your arm off. But see, we just talked about this. I like my arm. Kayla, what can you see anything? It's happening. She, it's she not found my the fault. dagger. The, the persimmon's dagger. She found the dagger. And it's now in her arm. And it's... I don't know. Can you see anything? Look. Um, I'm going like, to touch her arm and grab her arm. Uh, uh Kayla's. Yeah. The dagger? Or where, where the dagger is supposedly at? Yeah. You see the same black stars that you saw when you and Manny escaped the temple in the form of the beast of the outline of this dagger. Um... I'm going to drop her hand and kind of take a few steps back for a second. So it's not my fault. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not blaming you. Are you, are you in pain? Get the throbbing. No, I'm fine. Um, uh. We need to stop this. We need to get rid of it. I... 
I don't... I, I, I have never seen anything like this. I think it's fine. Persimmon and I will just talk later about boundaries, and we'll be fine. We need to um, get it out of you. I am gonna grab your arm again, and I will dump ten points of uh, lay on hands into you. That saves me casting a spell later, thank you. This should ease the pain. I mean, I it didn't hurt, but thank you. Sure. Fade. Mm -hmm. I I don't know how to remove this providence, and I I don't think cutting her arm off is the solution. Better than nothing. I don't think it's isolated. Like it might be a part of her now <clears throat> I, don't like this. I really need you to tell me are you in pain when you say pain do you mean like a lot or like i'm okay so yes she is experiencing pain yeah that was obvious you're also squeezing my arm really hard. I'm holding your arm. I'm squeezing, squeezing very your hard. Arm. <laughs> my arm really hard. Um, I'm, strong. I'm trying to I... stop blood from flowing up. Yeah, yeah. so Which I am going to actually, thing. like, apologize to a dead person and rip off part of, like, a shirt or a tunic. Um, and I'm going to tie a tourniquet on her arm. Make sure it's tight. and see if that helps curb the spread. Uh, Providence, you're the only one that can see the spread. It, Your six seconds is out, though. I, I can't see it again. I mean, I could I could do it one more time. I think it's fine. I don't feel it spreading up past that. Uh, that's really tight, though. Can we make it looser, please? My no. fingers are going tingly. That's working. <laughs> I will go ahead and use another casting of the divide, of the wild magic sets. Meanwhile, the whole time this ghost <laughs> is behind her. You know, I guess I got used to it. <laughs> the ghost is there, okay? It's a thing. Yep. I will cast the magic awareness a third time. Just to see if I, okay. I'm specifically trying to see if this if it's changed. Um, I am going to cast detect poison. The fuck are my spells? Oh, there they are. Do I have my arm back now that the the uh, makeshift tourniquet is tied on there? Uh, I'm still, I'm still holding, holding your arm. <laughs> you are not going anywhere, Faye. <laughs> you cast and detect poison? Yeah, detect poison and disease, just in case. You get no sense of detect uh, any poison or disease. Uh, do I notice anything with the additional casting of magic awareness? Specifically, is it has it changed? No, has it gone further up? Uh, I mean, it's, there we go. So, I don't want y'all to think it's just like it's just very yeah. slowly. It's not like fast or anything. Yeah, but but it's still going. And do you think we should cut the arm off? How soon can we get to East Haven? A, a day, I think. Yeah, it'd be like another day's travel. Yeah, we could get there in a day. We could probably do it in like a little shorter if we really pushed. I mean, they've got to have healers there, right? It's a town. Yeah, so we cut off the arm. And then we pay a good fee to get our arm back on after it's cured. <laughs> I don't think we have money. I'll find money. I can always find money. I mean, I'm good at finding money, but I don't think you'll like the way I find my money. If it saves Spain, it's good. What if we like actually never mind? That wouldn't that wouldn't work. What if we don't cut off our arm? We should also cut out our eye too. Who you guys are violent. What's wrong with my eye? 
It's black. It's, it's completely um, black. black. It's completely black, Fane. Oh. <laughs> well, everything's it, black it, to him. It's so. only a little bit bruised. It's fine. <laughs> it's not natural. Do things look different through my my left eye? Okay. That actually, kind of looks cool. You might want to look in the mirror. I think you'd enjoy it. I will do that as soon as they don't, you know, remove all of my things. Yeah. Bang, give me another constitution saving throw. Disadvantage again or, or normal? Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage? Uh, I use my... <laughs> Actually, we'll just, we'll just do a thing. You, you have two advantages to use. And a DM to inspiration. Four? Four. I also I also have a lucky rock that gives me advantage. Um uh, as y'all looking at I rolled at a this... four and a seven. Okay. Uh as you're looking at her eyes saying this, you see the blackness coming out, like spraying out. So it's very almost like uh our, our evil campaign and how you have that little tattoo on your uh face. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's kinda like blackness spreading out from her eye. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the eye too. We're going now. Uh, I'm... Fane, can I pick you up? And as no. he asks you, he picks you up. I squirm like crazy. To That's me. fine! <laughs> We're running upstairs. Let's get to East Haven now. Yeah, I agree. I will Let's go. bite you. Only Fane, Pooh is give me wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving. Yes, I can take her. <laughs> nope. Saving throw is a. Ooh, I'm good at those. That's, so that's a seven for eleven total. Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, Kalis, give me an athletic saving throw or a last athletics check. I don't know why I say saving throw. Twenty six. Twenty six. We yes. all know that the weakest person in the group cannot actually physically fight the strongest. <laughs> As you're trying to pick up Fane, it's like Fane's moving out of body experience as she drop kicks you in the chest and jumps back from you. You don't fall on your face, but you you swear under her breath you hear. Fine, Fane, upstairs. Carriage. Fane, let's go. It's important. Yeah, JP, going. we gotta go. Gotcha. I'm gonna make a quick perception check to see if I can uh, find any alcohol in this cellar real quick right before we leave. <laughs> yes. Hey, there was plenty of alcohol <laughs> behind the bar, too. Oh, okay. Um... All right. It, it, I, if I saw it before, I'll, I'll just I'll just run up with them and grab and like grab like three as we leave. You find a I'd... you find a keg of L. Okay. If I hear him struggling with it, I will try to turn around and help. No, I'd faint. Go. I will pick up the keg of ale. Okay. Not knowing what it is. No. Okay. J I just hear Jean Pierre go. Uh, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> As we're going up, as we're passing by anybody, Providence is like, we're going, we're going now. Let's go, let's go. All right. All right, so we have the keg of ale. Um, whatever I grab at, at the, behind the bar, uh, you can just give me random things. I don't really care. Uh, just... uh, bottle spirits. Gotcha. There, uh, there is, you can find nine bottles of spirits. Okay. We got it. Hey, go. Most we got nine spirits, guys. How many of those can I just grab with my hands? Probably. Maybe like four. You have a backpack mm. on, don't you? No, I have a chest. That's very different. Um, oh. I have the portable have a hole. Chest? Oh, You're carrying a chest? It, eh. It's like a, it's a smaller chest. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's what the you that's what the have the portable hole. Me. I do the portable hole. You know what? I'm just gonna throw it on the portable hole. Throw all nine spirits in there. Uh, 
you just gonna throw the spirits in there and hope they don't break? I don't think there's like a. Fine, I'll put them in there. Did... <laughs> jump down, I'll, and put them in there, and I'll jump put out. Put them in there. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you're putting a. Did you grab the keg at L? Yeah, I picked you... it up, and I'll just put it in the portable hole. Mm -hmm. Uh, RNS glitch. You see them coming up, and then Fane looks like she has this affliction. Fane's also happening. We need to get to a healer. Ooh. Why? Okay. Ooh, Ooh, look at me. Um, uh -oh. Okay. That's a new eye. Yeah. New eye. And right. she's pouting. Any? Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Explain it while we go. Yeah. I'm going to climb on the roof of the thing. And as soon as I get up there, I'm taking this wrap off of my arm so I can feel my fingers again. I would not be allowing that. <laughs> then I will start gnawing at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yep, I'm getting on my horse. We're going. Uh, as you're looking at Fane, the stuff that's spreading from the eye is now wrapping around her head. And then as it forms in the front, you see all sits of the heads of the beasts that y'all all saw. Providence's hands are literally smushing up against Fane's face right now, and she's like trying to push it back. Like, Ugh. I don't think that's helping Providence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Fane, I want you to refresh your character sheet here in a second. Okay, let me know when. I'll show you. Oh, I did the wrong one. Well, I'll do this so y'all can still talk. Rue, can I have my base back, please? No. What the hell happened? We, we when, don't know. She she found the dagger. When can I have my face back, please? The dagger. When it is back to normal. Okay. Yeah, look at her arm. It's in there. Uh, Elise will refresh your uh, character sheet. Look at your stats and roleplay accordingly. Yep. Okay. So... Get the carriage ready. All right. So since, you know, all of this didn't help with my arm, maybe it doesn't help with my face. And instead, you can let go of my face and I can just, you know, help us track the path there quicker. We'll get there fast. It'll be good. I, please. We we if we need to go, you need to let her go so we can get in. That. I'll let you go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And now I'm gonna climb onto the roof of the wagon. Okay. Frederick. Oh yeah. I gotta give Nerd Holler a shout out. Okay. Uh, let me figure out where he's at. Uh, he was patrolling. He's standing. Him and since uh, you know, Sam's on NPC mode. Mm -hmm. Uh, he says, well, Sam went up to check the trail. Uh, I'm up here. Uh, I'll drive the car. To what's what's going on? We need to go. Something happened to Fane. Do you have healers? Where? Just not acting like your yourself. Yeah. Yeah, something is wrong. We need to go. Maybe Pronto. maybe something is actually really good. Is it? 
I think it is. She's not Fane, a bubbly. every time that we have seen that dagger, or every time we have heard about it, seen that beast, bad things have happened. So, but what if we're looking at this the wrong way, guys? What if this is actually an opportunity for us to get an in, like an inside? aspect on this whole thing get stronger in the meantime and then create better tactics she gets smarter Fane's always been smart i she's less i beg too. to you know what okay it, it, mm. she, she's less bubbly because she has a thing tied around her arm so tight she can't feel her hand it's called a tourniquet it's, 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 she's not acting yourself okay I'm used to your bouncy chaos. Um, yeah, I, I, it did hurt a while ago. That's all. Don't worry, don't overthink that. How bad? I mean, you were scared by me. Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, we need to stop talking and go. Mr. The Honorable. Yes. Can your connections with the Order... Are are there healers that can do something about this? Of course. Maybe. I don't, I've never seen that before. She's acting like... She's got some sense now. Yeah, that's the most concerning part. <laughs> I mean, nobody's told me what happened yet, so I'm... Bane, show him your arm. I did see this... That's when do you get a tattoo? Um, that's part of the recently. affliction. We need to that get it is. out of her. Thank you. See, Mr. Frederick gets but, uh, it. All right, uh, but sh of course, um, yeah, um, yeah. Let's go. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, let's go. We'll, we still got like a day uh, journey. Is Why are we not going now? Yeah, we are. Because nobody's here. got into the cart. <laughs> I've been trying to climb on top for a while. Oh. We're going. We're sure. going now. Uh, I'm already on beast. Like, yeah. I'm, on I'm climbing horse. in the front. I'm climbing up with Fane. Just don't fall off, please. Uh, do we have any feed for the horses? I don't think we fed them today. Oh, shit. They've been nibbling. I was like, they didn't graze on anything while we were Boys out here. Animals, you yeah. left them chained up. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, they're not putting their heads to the ground. Whoopsies. I mean, they've eaten where they were sitting, but. That might not know. be enough. Mm. Not to do it, we can. I'm going to ride around the inn and see if there are like bags of horse feed. There was some stable, I mean, uh, not like stables, uh, fenced in where the horses were kept. Do you want to go look? Yes. The blind person is going to go look for this. I'm on my horse. Oh, that's right. I forgot what we decided. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, yeah, you eventually find a sack of, sack of feed. You find one sack of feed and a half empty one. All right. Pick up both of them, and I run them back to Arwenis. I don't know how to feed a horse. I would. I mean, I assume it's like a feeding anything else, but also, they kind of scare me. They scare you, but you have one of you. Okay, nope, I'm not arguing. This one's magic. It's still a horse. But it's it? magic. Okay, nope, we're not arguing about this right now. Take the feed. All horses are magic. I know, Will you the expand horses. on that glitch? I'm curious on this viewpoint now. <laughs> While they're talking about that, I'm going to start <laughs> feeding horses. Fane, thank yeah. you. We'll feed the horses. Yeah. Since they're... Let's feed the horses. And trim the hedges. Just hang out. And then let's go. Yes, yeah. and then we'll go. 
I'm supposed to be in a hurry, or...? A yes. little bit, yeah. But you can't... Okay, just because you give a f horse food doesn't mean they're going to eat it. You gotta wait until they're... ready. Can we oh, just, like... do with a deed? I'm pretty John sure has JP it. has it. John, <laughs> John has, has it. it. Okay, I just want to make sure who has the deed. Hmm. And just to clarify, because you have the deed doesn't mean you own the place. Uh, yeah. It says yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, none of our names are Haley, so... Uh, My name can be Haley. Good yeah, God. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway. I do still have that forgery like. kit. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't condone any of this. Oh, yeah, I, I don't... I didn't figure you would. Um... <laughs> JP. Mm -hmm. As y'all are feeding the horses and trying to get ready to take off. I need everybody to take their headsets off except for JP. Yay. The spell message. Okay. Brittany did it earlier, actually. Oh, to yeah, you. that was yesterday. Okay. Um, you hear in your head. So, you decide to double cross us. We'll be hunting for you, and we're coming. So, we'll be seeing you soon. The twins send their regards. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Unless you want to respond. It is message. You get one response. It, it is message. You can respond. Uh. <clears throat> ah, dang it. I, I should have a really witty response right now, but I don't. I should have thought about this. This is how message uh, works. You never know when it's coming. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so good. <laughs> you, I mean, you want to have you, the party's input to help? Um, yeah, sure, sure. All right. I don't know if Providence can hear us, but... Mm -hmm. So the... What is uh message the next thing I say it's uh I, I they hear, correct? Is that how that works? I never really use messages, but I think you use you think about the reply and you just do it. That's how I'm gonna roll You it. yeah, you have to like very, very, very faintly whisper it, but they hear it as if you've just spoken it right next to them. Okay, yeah, I, I, that's 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 what I figured, because uh, I was going to say something, but I didn't want that to be the message. Um, you have to, case. like, point, and the verbal component of the message is saying the message. Right, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly pull out a, a pen and paper, and then just write down, um, the twins sent a message. They know, they know we double cross them. What should I say back? So, yeah. Oh, that would have been a sending then. Yeah, sending. Maybe. That's yeah, sending. so anything you... Yeah, the next thing is you... Yeah, reply to them. I always get messages and sending backwards. They're essentially the same thing, just one's a... Not a country. Yeah, one <laughs> is anywhere in existence. The other one is 100 feet from you. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's right. My bad. Uh... -huh. Maybe tell them that we're on our way to Gilton if they think they can catch up with us. I right, know. Uh, also, happy birthday. Well, it's the exact opposite direction. Why not? Oh, Gil. Oh, Gilton. Right. Um. Sorry, I for I forgot maps. Actually, I, 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 I don't know what y'all talking about. Just say we're sorry. And and wish them a happy birthday just to mess with them. 
Tell them that we're coming back for them and they're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're heading to Gilton. Come find us. Also, happy birthday. You got 15 more if you want to keep going. Regards, uh, me and the crew. That's it. I'm not going to, yeah. Did you threaten kind of... them? Hmm? Did you threaten them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Breath of voice. <laughs> All right, so now we barely gallop along. I'm back up top. Providence would climb back up on top with Fane. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I sound really gross right now. As we're like riding along, like I'll ride next to the cart, and there's like windows and stuff, right? Yeah. So I can fill Mister the Honorable in on he's driving what happened. Oh, he's driving the cart with me. Oh, yeah. Then I'll be up there then and fill him in on what happened. Oh, I was gonna have a psalm up there so he'd be out of the picture. Oh, <laughs> uh, he he can be. Oh yeah, no, he's, he's went up. He went up. So yeah, for now you can yes. Very peculiar. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. From other being a curse, I don't know else would be able to call it. You may not even be a curse. She seems fine. As they, as he glances up at Fane, oddly seems smarter. When she start getting uh, like sensible ideas, when this happened, I I'm not saying it's not a welcome side effect, but it is also a could be a side effect of something much, much worse. Something is coming. I really wish we had Craven here for guidance. Well, hopefully we can get some help from your order. And we can go get him out. That's so Reach Haven, we'll reach Haven, reach East Haven this time tomorrow, hopefully. There is a bridge we have to cross, but we should be fine. And like a, just like a bridge. Uh, it's uh, the bridge you cross over. There's a river that flows under. It's like a big gorge. You just said it should be fine as if this bridge should be ominous. I mean, there's gods. Oh. Okay. Long, long as nobody's done anything evil, have y'all? I kind of like look up anybody, at Fade. Is anybody wanted? I mean, I don't really know you guys that well. Well, I mean, we did just escape from being slaves. Um, we just, just leave a crime scene and failure to report is a crime. We're case. headed to report to them. We will let them know when we get there. <laughs> like, who, who can we report to? There's nobody here. As long as, uh, you know, as long as we don't have their items on us and implement us in the crime so we should be fine yep 
because we definitely left everything behind on those corpses, right? Yep. See? Nothing to worry about. Tell sure. me who. <laughs> All right. Everybody else is in the car. Uh, I thought you were on your horse. I am. I was like riding right next to he's You said he oh, was up there driving. I thought you were saying you were next to him in the seat. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. He's talking a little bit louder now because you're. <laughs> All right. Everybody else is in the cart. Oh. On top. I'm on top of the cart. Everybody's on I'm top the of the cart. cart? No, Dane I'm in the cart. <laughs> Dane and Providence are on top of the cart. Okay. And then we have John and Glitch and Arnis inside the cart. Well, I'll say Fane and Providence, you're hearing their conversations talking, so you have a chance to talk if you'd like. Um, Providence would probably be like holding onto Fane's hand at this point. And if you if you want to roll inside, she's feeling concerned. Uh, but she'll be like, Fane, you're acting really different. I, I feel a bit different. I, you, you know I trust you. And, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm scared. This is, this is very, you've been changing for a lot for a little while, but this is really sudden and it, it's associated with that dagger. That was the, the first time we saw that I tried to kill you. But you didn't. But I wanted to. Sometimes I want to kill people. But not me. No. Could you imagine something that would want you to make me make you kill me? Mm -hmm. Would you consider that a good thing? I guess it would depend on how convincing it was. I don't know. My thoughts feel bigger this afternoon. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm still scared. I mean, I, I will always trust you, but I want to get this out of you. I don't know. I think I think we need to maybe figure some more out about what it's actually doing first. Can I cut your arm off? I I really would rather you not. But if you had an infection, we could just remove the infection by removing the arm. Uh, maybe... I'll make it really quick. Hmm. I don't suppose infections are the same... Above table, sorry. I don't suppose infections are the same as diseases. <laughs> Are you asking a question? Yeah, yeah, above, above table. I mean, it would matter if this was any one of those things. Yeah. Hmm. Well, all right. So I have, I know, I know some magic that can fix like sicknesses and stuff. Do, do you want me to just try that? I mean, yes. I'll pull out my cards. Um. Ooh. I'm not going to try to fix myself. I want a pet rhino. <laughs> Is that what you got? <laughs> what does it say? Um, Destrier. You gain a magical steed chosen from among the following. Bear, elk, stallion, rhino, sloth, or wolf. Although, you know, sloth could be cool too. I say the, the elk. Yeah, I have an elk miniature that I can use. I don't have a rhino miniature. What if we just pretend it's a sloth? I didn't know sloth was on the list. We have the slowest mount ever. Yep. It's going to get left behind. <laughs> no, it'll ride with us. That's really big. <laughs> no, I kind of really want to. Can we just pretend it's a rhino? 
Yeah. I'll look for a miniature to download for it. Okay, I will also look later. So, what exactly just happened right now? Um, so I drew a card, and it poofed into flames like flash paper, and a rhino showed up. Where? Preferably, like, right next to Kalis, but I don't know. <laughs> Hi, uh, Hi, always high. Yeah, because you wanted to appear next to Kalis, it appears next to Kalis. Okay. <clears throat> Kalis, I think that's mine. You can't have it. I don't want it. Does it say it's what? friendly to you, or what? It, it says, I gain a magical steed. I would assume it works like fine steed. Yeah. Probably. You, you probably can summon it and unsummon it. It's magic. I'll add it to your uh, estrus. What Thank you. just happened? Um, see, maybe changes are a good thing. We now have a rhinoceros. It, it's not. The, it's not the changes are not good. I, I always want the best for you, but it's the source that's, that's concerning me. How do you know this isn't going to cause bad things in the future? Kind of like a. You know, a cost-benefit thing. Well, I mean, right now, being up here on top of the wagon, we can see a lot more than from in the wagon, right? Yeah. So maybe me having these bigger thoughts will help us to see those potential costs sooner and we can deal with them better. But what if those, those benefits come at a cost? Yeah, that's what I mean. But what if that cost for, is really now, bad? But right now we're on top of the wagon. We can see them coming and plan for them. And you've always been the smarter one. I'm... Hmm. Can I please cut off your arm? If if you want to roll persuasion, we, we can do <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, um, tell me what I'm rolling to counter this. Probably wisdom. Wisdom? Check or save, because they are very different. I have no idea. It's up to Jugan. I rolled a 17. Okay. I'm going to roll for you. You're going to roll for me? Okay. I rolled a nat 1. There we go. <laughs> All right, if you're if you're really this concerned, let's let's wait till we have a campfire tonight so we can at least like not have me bleed out. Okay, okay, and Kayla's gonna help. He can stop the bleeding. And yeah, thank you. That makes me feel better. Okay. And I'm just really scared. It'll be fine. I can I can fight things, but this is I don't think I can fight this. I. Really kind of wish I had picked it up with my other hand now. Providence, give me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Sticks. You suddenly have the urge from inside. In a vision of the person that you have haunts you. You have the feeling that you don't want to do that now. Okay, we'll think about this. I'm, I'm having second thoughts. But... Well, second thoughts lead to third thoughts, and more thoughts are probably good, so. Yeah, but I, I appreciate that you're considering letting me do it. Let's let's talk over with the group. Just, you, you know that I'm really reactionary. And usually my reactions are right. While we wait, can we maybe actually take the band off my arm because my fingers are completely tingly and like 
I don't think they're supposed to be bloodless for this long. Uh, she will start to untie, and then at the same time, she's also going to lay hands on your arm, and she will uh, use healing hands. Ooh. So you can take, I believe, 2d4. I have so many features on this on this character. Yay, multi-class. Uh 3d4 hit points you get regenerate back. I only have two available. One moment. Two, two, three, seven. Yay. Thank you. Guys, I'm doing so much better now all of a sudden. I'm, I don't know. I'm. I'd be really hurried, worried to hurt you. I. I do kind of want to get rid of your eye too. I I really prefer to keep my eye. <laughs> maybe maybe if we if we cut off the arm if we cut off the arm if, <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we get that fixed. Then maybe we can consider the eye at that point. Not both. Okay, both just... is a lot. Fair. Okay. Um, she'll probably go quiet, and she'll probably like, if you'll allow her, she'll probably wrap her arm around you. Do you wanna? Do you wanna ride a rhino? Yes. Okay. I'm going to jump down to the rhino, and if she wants to join, we will both ride the rhino instead. I'm going to ride a ride. <laughs> All right. Uh, the other three in the cart, you see a rhino appearing, you see them two jump down. Well, actually, this would be more while they're having a conversation. You can have a conversation before you see the actual rhino. At some point during the conversation, a rhino will show up. If you want to have a conversation. Um. Why can't they be normal? Normal? This whole thing is not normal. None of this is normal. Nobody has this much problems. Functioning day to day. True. That's true. It was quiet during those two years, ish. And all of a sudden, it's been chaotic. So, John, you got that message from the Lantanus Livingsters? Just... Yeah, yeah, I got a got a message from them. Uh, they they say they know, so. Mm. Yeah. Well, I gotta find us and catch us first. I don't know. I don't know what resources they have, but I'm gonna be optimistic and say that's gonna be real difficult. Um, sure. Ornus does not believe that at all. One second. Not yeah, one bit. Makes, makes... Uh, She's gonna rub her head and then she's gonna look outside and go, Is that a rhino? Or what is that? I have no idea. Does it have swords on its head? That's cool. What? That's just. Hell. <laughs> You're right. Where did that come from? <laughs> this is strange. This is very strange. Oh, God. What are they? They're on it. You know what? Nope. 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 That, this is too much for me. This is way too much for me. Now we have the dagger problem. We have this problem. Now we have this weird looking horn thingy 
animal. It just, it just. It... Uh... And Why the ghost us? is also flying by. Oh, them. yeah, we can't forget the ghost. We can't forget <laughs> the, the ghost. Scepter, yeah. Oh. Weirder by the day. Yeah. So. I'm kind of missing quiet life. Wish we had something to drink. No. Do yes, I have the thing for you? <laughs> <laughs> what? John, what'd you take? I, to be fair, no one was using it anymore. Um, I pull out a, a couple of bottles of spirits. Uh, I'll hand one to Glitch if you wish to take it. Yeah, I'm taking a bottle. All right, there you go. Full bottle. Don't even think about it. I would never think about it. Glug. Okay, right. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, just, give, just, mm -hmm. give me one second, I'll let you finish. Uh, oh, holy man. We might need to stop for camp. As he talks to uh, Kalis. Hey. As the storms and thunder start rolling in. Oh, yeah. Let's set up camp. And y'all can continue as, as, as it starts raining. Oh, goodness. I don't know outside. Pull over to the side. Great. More rain. So that everybody could just pile into the carriage oh. Oh. <laughs> gonna be a tight fit i mean six people came out of that carriage it's a pretty that, big carriage. okay okay fine but if most of us are sleeping not enough room like Sleep to sit up. yeah i'm sorry i would never i'd sleep on the floor I, mm. I can sleep outside. It's I raining. Not while it's raining. We are dino. not getting you sick again. I'll, I'll take a blanket. Maybe a song can make us that thing again. I'll sleep outside. And cover us up. A high. A song would eventually make his way back. So he says, Got the wind. He does his little grave dust stuff, and poof, and the thing is made. Yeah. Yep. Definitely gonna be in there. Are we taking shifts again? Who's gonna be doing what? And you should stay. You should rest. I'm on the outside of it. Stay in the cart. Or the carriage. Hmm. The storm is gonna set us back. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, hold on. Yeah. And the rhino is gone. There. <laughs> so I'm gonna take an early night. He's a little tired from scouting ahead and being soaked in rain. All right. Really, guys, I can take one of the watches, that's not a problem. Yeah. You seem fine. Just... She is not fine. I'm excellent. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, excellent. Oh, okay. So who's doing what? Uh, who's first? Who's second? Who's third? Since we have John and Glitch already drinking, mm -hmm. they might need to be separate. We'll just put oh, them both on drinking? Beer. Did y'all drink the whole bottle? Both, both of them were drinking. I don't know if they I, the bottle. I pulled them out. I didn't say I was drinking anything. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> 
Hold on. Big list How long has it been? Oh, yeah, I'm drinking. Okay. Have you already went through the first bottle? How long has it been? <laughs> Since I got it? <laughs> well, as uh, you were pulling out the bottles is when they... The storm rolled in, so... Oh, then I... No, I wouldn't... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna go away in my real life and say, No, I did not drink a bottle yet. <laughs> It takes a while. Uh, let's say a quarter through a couple sips if we pulled over right away. But I didn't put it down. Are y'all lighting a fire or what? Or are y'all just staying in it? Uh, well, Ground is a little yeah. bit wet. Hmm. So. Oh, let's... Uh -huh. And smoke, get out of this thing. Or yeah, I'm sure there's a chimney. <laughs> he can make one. it to whatever specifications he wants. Yeah, I guess so. But then, if you let smoke pass through it, it kind of gives it away. Well, we can't it's, fill I mean, it up with smoke invisible. and asphyxiate. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Didn't you get to set the temperature? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The temperature is nice and comfortable oh. inside. There we go. Okay. Should know that. Guess we don't need a fire. Real cozy, even though it'd be nice. <laughs> so, uh, Fane and Providence are in the cart. I will be staying with Fane. Okay. Everybody else is under the dome. Yep. Mm hmm. Right. Yep. Team Dome, do you guys want us to take first watch or third watch? Up to you. Pick. Crew? Take first watch. First? Okay. okay. I'll take last. I'll take last. What a... Be John and I, we're going to take second. I'll be away for last, though, too. So. All right. Oh, well, then I'll take second. And then you can just take last. I'll be away for both, so it doesn't matter which one. She trances. Trances. I only get four hours oh. of sleep. It's a long rest for me. Still do. Last rest to help two people. Yeah, I can do second. That's fine. Well, you'd be on for two of them, so. Yeah. You get to talk to more people. Yay. John and I will take second. Kalis, are you going to take third with Glitch? Yep. All right. All right. Oh. Uh, Fane or Providence, where are you at? Are you inside the cart? You... Uh, I think we'd probably be on top of the cart. The but rain. with blankets this time. With blankets. Oddly enough, Providence, you feel a warmth coming from Fane. But it's, it's a very dark and sinister warmth keeping her you her in you warm. It's kind of it's kinda of like radiating like how you radiate, but it's more of a darkness to it. Uh, you both can roll me perception checks. Or you, one can roll advantage. I, I was going to use my lucky rock to get advantage anyways. I'll just roll normal. Yeah. I got an 18. Uh, I got a total of 10. Rolling a lot of nines today. Um, I'll let y'all, if you want to have a conversation, and then I'll let you know if it, what happens and what you see. There's nothing that will come outright attack or anything, so don't worry about that. Y'all 
want to talk or wait so as we're up there providence is probably playing with like her actual sword and immediately after she pulls it out it starts glowing and she's like oh hey Fane, can i can i see something can i see your arm for a second I, I won't I won't hurt it. I won't squeeze. I promise I won't squeeze. And then she's gonna try something that she knows that I know is not gonna work. No, it but just the, got cut. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but uh, the arm's gone. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> uh, she's gonna take your arm and she's going to um, act as if she's trying to grab the dagger by the hilt, and she just wants to see if it glows. Nope. Hmm. So it's not an actual dagger because it's not glowing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So you're sure you feel okay? I I feel all right. The coolness of the rain is actually kind of nice. It was, I don't know, it, it kind of burnt my arm earlier. So that feels better. Are you are you feeling better? I still have some magic from, like, I can still do some, some curative stuff. No, I'm okay. I'm sure. good. Like, when I go to bed, I can just waste some spells. Hmm. I'm, like, decently above half of, like, 100%. So we're good. It's not enough. And she just starts immediately just casting some, some healing word. What word is, is your healing word? Get better. Not salubrity or anything like that? Get better. Um, where is it? I mean, if uh, we want... It'll I be can... 1d4 plus 2. Oh, thank you. I can also cast Bleed Less. Oh, good too. Plus I 2? Actually, yeah, 1d4 plus 2. I usually, yeah, I use the magic word is usually get up, because I only use it for useless when something's fallen down. Um, get get better works, too. How How, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I mean, I'm just, I'm just worried about, about you. No, I'll, I'll be fine. I feel good. And like I, I said, I'm, I, I have good feelings about, about this. I think, I, I think this is going to work out well. I, I don't, and and that dagger scares me. I mean, on the plus side, at least now we always know where it is. That doesn't make me feel better at all. But it can't sneak up on us and make it, it look like someone's killing someone that they're not. Well, it still could. There's no proof that it can't. I don't think it's going to sneak up us, on us anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm also, I'm going to use weird water, shape water, um, to make a little rhinoceros and a horse just kind of chasing each other in in circles. Where did you get the horse, the, the rhino? Uh, from my cards. So what's going on with the cards? I guess they're being generous. I don't know, maybe they thought we were lonely for too long, so they're giving us extra friends or something. It was I mean, we just the two of us for like 10 years, so. Yeah, but now we have like all these other new people. Yep. Well, when it rains, it pours, right? Yeah. What, what do you think of them? Of all of them combined, I think they're fun. So we should stay with them? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, they're, they are definitely growing on me. Even if they're... Even if, like, two of them are buzzkills half the time. Yeah. More than half the time, but... I really like Feathers. He's fun. He's not a buzzkill. And I don't know, I, I feel a connection with Kalis. He's a bit of a buzzkill. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Nah. I, I like this group. I think they should stay. If it makes you happy, we'll stay. And at that, I'll like lean in a little and just continue watching. I'm just, I just, I just want to protect you, okay? Mm-hmm. I know. You always do. Okay. She'll go quiet after that. And if an hour goes by and my, my, my sword turns off, I'm turning it back on. About an hour. What's your crazy high perception check? Over, because you're getting closer to town, you start to see a few more trees. Over by a tree, you see like this massive mound. It doesn't look natural. Bane, do you see that over there? Do I see it? In the tree line. How far is it, approximately? About uh, 100 feet. Okay. But, but 100 feet away. 100, 200. It's hard to tell yeah. in the rain and storm, but yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I see that. Do you think what bump. it is? Um, I don't know, but I can try to shoot it. I don't. I don't think that would be smart. Probably not. Do you think it's I should go check it out? It could be fun. Let's go check it out. Okay. We're going to check it out. Yep. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna beat another dragon. <laughs> As you get closer, you get closer. You find eight bodies piled under a tree. Hmm. Um, they're almost stripped naked. They're down to like their underclothes. So can we had, tell if um, if they had armor on, they've been stripped. If they had any weapons have been stripped. What, what do you say? Can you tell if what? How long they've been dead? Do medicine checks if you like. Uh, can I can I help you make a medicine check? I would I would love some help. So I'll roll his advantage. Yeah, uh, either yeah. one roll advantage or that's a nineteen. Uh, probably like maybe a day, no more than two. Does it look anything similar to what the? Uh... The, the murders were happening in the in the. Uh, these guys, were these uh, these people look very well built, could probably pass for guards of some sort, and they were just killed, like by normal weapons. There's nothing. Like the last place, people think they saw their variables. Just, they don't have anything on them other than their clothes, like they're in their clothes. Yeah, I mean, this looks just like a regular bag. I don't think this is anything. This looks like someone maybe wants to hide as some very muscled people. Yeah. I don't suppose yeah. you can talk to one of them like you talked to the other guy, or... Or was it someone else who talked to the orc? I don't actually remember, sorry. That, that was, uh, that was this character. Okay. Never mind. Maybe maybe during the next watch somebody else can. Mm-hmm. Do any of them have any like birthmarks, tattoos, anything unique? Um other than like normal battle scars. Yeah. They, they probably gathered in their lives uh with that you notice these scars um definitely can tell they're like some kind of fighters or 
guards or something. But it's just okay. odd. There's just piled, piled bodies under a street. But there are no details that we could try to remember to see if we can identify one of them later? Nothing like that, no. Other than... Okay. I... They're all generic white guys. Got it. No, I mean, like... We'll say there's a few... I'm not going to go into great detail because, you know, I don't have any that marked yeah. out. Yeah. I didn't think anybody was going to ask that. But uh, we'll just say each one of them has very identifiable scars from old past injuries. And we'll just say you can hmm. say maybe one's like one has one on a very deep one on the left arm calf or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Retroactively um, say you can identify that it's some has particular scars that might people might know about if you weren't asking about. Oh, um, the one guy that has the birthmark that looks like a teddy bear. Yeah. Should we like? Should we cut that off so we can bring it to show people to see if they recognize it? I, I think that might implicate us in somehow the the death. I think we should just keep this quiet. We'll tell the people who are going to watch next. Okay, that's fair. We didn't do anything with this. I think, actually, I'm really kind of wondering if it's the... I think this was the actual guards from the from the, from the carriage we were in. Maybe. It could be. Although the carriage was marked up for the Black Order. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. Unless they marked it up on the road after that, but why would they care about taking the guards' clothes and pretending to be guards if they were just going to mark up the carriage? I don't know. I, people make plans that I don't really understand. Yeah. People are weird sometimes. Let's get back. Just, just be simpler like us. Yeah. yeah. Just kill things. Well, not wantonly kill things. But... Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll make sure to tell whoever's on watch next. All right. As you return back to the cards... First your watch goes without issue. Time for the second watch. We let them know, hey, that pile over there is a bunch of dead bodies. They're basically naked. Um, but they are very uh, nice well -built. looking bodies. They, they look like fighters or guards or something. We're not sure where They're they came like from. They're not like decaying and full of holes yet. Maybe, maybe oh, a day. Our one is just not going to hear you all, and she's just going to stare straight at Fane, just like. Hello, Miss Arwenis. Um, we have an issue. It's worse than you thought. What, the pile of bodies over there? No, they're no, all no, dead. No, 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 your arm. It's worse. It doesn't We're cutting feel... it off. Are we cutting We're... it off? No, no. no. Verona came to me. She's fighting an evil entity in you now. That dagger needs to get out of you, Fronto. So Providence is grabbing her sword. Here's the thing: if it's if it's just evil, now it's stuck in me. But okay, there should be a way to get it out, though. I mean, obviously, I'm not evil, so we're fine. No, no, but it's taking over you. That's the issue. I don't think it is. Verona thinks so. She came to me. Hmm. You know we have Why this connection with her. Why would she come to you when you don't get to decide what, what happens with my arm? Because she's fighting to keep the evil from taking you over you. And she needed someone else to know. Hmm. Bane, this is not good at all. So I wake up. What type of evil we talking about? Uh, Fey, fiend, other stuff, demons. I haven't seen one of those yet. Apparently, it's the dagger kind. Oh, I should get a cloak tattoo for this arm. No, wait. Fane, back on track, please. I, we, th I think a cloak it, tattoo would look cool. Is there a way you could summon the the dagger out or anything? Have you tried? No. Would, would you like, like me to not do that? 
if we can, if she can take it off, we can have her drop her or something. Or try. I don't know. It's just. Uh... If it's in her, it's in her arm. We get rid of her arm. Problem solved. I don't think that will help. It's embedded in her arm now. True, mm -hmm. more than I trust you. That's fine, and that's understandable. That but we said, definitely... Drew, I, can we try to take out the knife before cutting my arm off? As long as I'm ready. Okay. But can you use the cool, like, powered-up orc blood sword to take it off? Yes. If it gets to that chance. Okay. Um, I will... So, Providence is, like, literally standing perpendicular to you with her sword, ready to slice it off. No dagger appears? Uh, give me wisdom saving throw. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just double checking if it's saving throws or ability checks that I have disadvantage on at the moment. Why oh, you have disadvantage? Because I used my lucky rock. I think it's it's oh. just ability checks. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> that is a 17 for an 18 total. No, As it's you... a saving. It's a saving throw. That's a 21 total. Nice. As you I'm wise try guy. to summon this dagger out. As you're concentrating on it. You feel a battle in your mind. You see Lorena looking back at you. She has this like wall of flames and you see this dark shadow on the other side of this wall of flames. She's looking at you. She wants to speak to you, but she's all she can do to hold this entity back. And, <laughs> and she, in this instance, as she's looking back at you, those flames just go brighter and bigger. You do not summon the dagger. You come back. Everybody else sees her black eye flame out as flames are coming out of her black eye and they subside to being back black again. Okay. I'm guessing that was Verona. Sure, yeah. What? It didn't come out though, did it? I, I kind of zoned <clears throat> out and went somewhere else so I don't I didn't see it. It's not well, out now. No, but your eye left eye went flamey. Okay, but my eyes look flamey every time I do magic. Yes, but it was just the one eye, it wasn't both. Hmm. Cool. That's new. Okay. Well that's not that didn't work. But... And I'll just kind of move my arm closer to Prue. I don't think that will make it any better. It'll make it worse? I will take my arm back. So we have to go to Frederick's order in order to figure this out. See if they can help you get it out without chopping anything off. I mean, I'm just gonna say, we could get you like a really cool metal arm. All right, you two head to bed. John and I will take second watch and figure this out or try to get some ideas. Figures the druid doesn't like the idea of a metal arm. And I'll waddle off to the carriage with our now sopping wet blankets. Okay, John, I'm you saw it's fine. you saw the. F Flaming eye and stuff too, so I don't know if you want to chime in. 
Me? Yeah, you saw because you woke up for the watch. You yeah, know. yeah. I mean, I I asked I asked what Arwenus what type of evil it, she thought it was. But you just saw this what this play out like her. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. I thought it was cool. I don't know. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Flamethrower like, eyeball. <laughs> Guys, so we just say I have a pet ghost, a new rhino, and a flamethrower eye. This is pretty great. Pain go to All bed. good things. Pain go to bed. Okay. Yes, mom. <sighs> Take away three cards. Can I pick which cards? Nope. Okay, just off the top. Please don't be the one that's my only way of not getting stuck in a bubble somewhere. What do I do with them now? They're gone. They're gone? Okay, I'm gonna look at what they are. Oh, it was! No potential wish spells. Awesome. You feel her power waning as these cards are now disappearing. But, uh... Who has nice watches? Arnus and John. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one thing, it's another... I I thought you know what? What? I thought this would be easier. This is a uh, this is more difficult than um than being back at the uh you know cages. Uh huh. <sighs> <laughs> For sure, yes. Absolutely. Why must I have empathy? <laughs> Jeez. Uh. I don't know what to do. I mean, I have I have a spell that might oh. help, but I'm not too sure if it's um protection from good from good from evil and good. Okay. I don't I don't know exactly what's. If I if I can probably figure out exactly what's bad about this thing, maybe we can help with that before we get to town. Yeah. Gotta figure out all we know it's a six headed dagger. We don't know well, probably cursed. I'm guessing. Since it's already inflicting her this and the way Verona came into my mind, it was pretty intense, so. Real bad cursed item. I haven't, I've only heard of, like, one of, I've only seen one of those before. That's. Yeah, how'd that one go for you? I mean, I only saw, I only saw the guy. He didn't look oh. great. Uh, <laughs> different uh -huh. type of curse, I think. I don't know the specifics of it. <sighs> well, we definitely have to find someone who's able, who knows at least in items or magical items. See if they have any idea. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, this is so frustrating. How did she get it in her arm? No one explained that to me. Oh yeah, I probably we probably should have said something about that. So, she grabbed it, mm -hmm. and then it went into her arm with like all this fire and stuff. So she picked up the dagger that's been haunting her, and Correct. it just kind of just went into her arm. Correct. With flames. Well, like there was like a burst of fire. Mm -hmm. And then it looked like she has that 
kind of tattoo now, but that's. I mean, that's what I I saw it. I was there. I don't I don't know what happened. I'm no artificer. Maybe tell Glitch this before you head to bed. Uh, for next watch, let him know. Maybe he has some ideas. That's not a bad idea. He does know about magic and items and magic items. Have to sit out of a couple pickles during that fight, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. So we got the lance living sirs on our tails. Knowing we deceived them, we have Fane with an evil dagger in her arm. I, I, we have the deed to the tavern. You did okay. So I'm, I'm, not I, I'm like. just I'm just saying things that we have. Okay, I was thinking more of the negatives that has happened, not the. What? True. That is you... that is a positive. No. All right. Why you? Okay. Finders keepers. What? That's my that's my that's my motto. Anyway. Finders keepers. Living. Okay. We have we have the living stirs on our back. Mm -hmm. Thing with a dagger in her arm. Yep. Uh, the dead bodies. Dead bodies. Two sets now, because they just said they had another set. There is another. They did talk about the pile over there. Uh huh. Should we and check least, that out? That sounds like I an think issue. So yeah, I think we should check out. Uh, and then this, it just it's like one thing after another. What did with our group? <laughs> I thought I knew some crazy people. I I did. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I thought the arena was bad when we saw fought them. Now this this. I don't know what else to say. This is... <sighs> oh. Jesus. Let's go look at the... the... Yep, the, the pile that they were talking mm -hmm. about. We're gonna Yo, take give a... Give me perception checks, too. Okay. Gotcha. Perception. Ooh. Eight. Twenty-two. Okay. Um, you head out that way and look at the bodies? Mm-hmm. You find the same thing that I just described to them. Okay. I thought they were missing some things, but it look, doesn't look like what we dealt with at the inn. Mm -hmm. So some, this is something different. What is it? This is the second set. This is different. A lot of dead people recently. Too much for my taste. Must be an epidemic. Hmm. Mm. You think so? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Can I take a closer look at the bodies? Another closer look? Like an investigation check, maybe? Sure. Alright. It's a nine. Not much else you can tell. It's raining, gotcha. it's pouring it's... down, mud everywhere. Hmm. Oh, great. My boots. Damn it. <sighs> I'm going back to the height. Yeah, I'd I'd turn back as well. We we sure have verified that there are there's a pile of dead bodies. Eight yeah, of but them it's to be as that. Eight of them. Yeah. Eight of them. Yes, a pile of eight dead bodies. Ah. <sighs> Hey, John. Mm -hmm. Do you... 
Is it possible to send a letter? What in uh, Grace's? I I have I have paper in the and ink and a pen. Parchment and a quill. Yeah. Parchment and a quill, correct. Okay. I mean pens exist. That's a mm. like you dip it into the yeah, whatever. Yeah. Or I mean it's essentially the same thing. Yeah, same difference. I'm not sure if it'll get over though. Mm. I mean, I don't know, we don't, we gotta get to town first to send it, yeah, but... Yeah, I know, but I'm not sure if it'll even make it there. That's the thing, too. You know what? Don't worry about it right now. We'll figure it out later. Right now, we need to wor worry about Fane. Yeah, that sounds... Like our prior number one priority, I don't want to have a, a and I don't want to have someone being possessed in the yeah. party. Still don't know what's going on with Kalis, and that's scary too. Oh, so, mm -hmm. one thing after another. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. I think I have twice. Yes, yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Things were a lot more quieter when it was just us three. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. And the flying but... skulls. Mm, that's true, the flying skulls. They were a bit nosy, but... Mm -hmm. I think it's worth being with this group. We're out. That is true. Would have taken a bit longer. Yeah. In order. They got out within a couple weeks, so maybe yeah. we needed that oomph that they have. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. Crazy. I guess uh, crazy people do crazy things. That's probably why yeah, we're out of here. That's probably true. That's why we're, that's probably why we were in there for so long, too. <laughs> Gosh. All right, well, I guess uh, I don't know what else to do. If summoning it wouldn't help, I'm still going back to Fane, but not much we can do until we can get to East Haven. Mm hmm. Need a professional, I suppose, on this matter. Yeah. And Frederick, I think, is still sleeping. But I'm not sure if he has any ideas either. Maybe he'll wake up for last watch and I can talk to him. Mm-hmm. All right. All well, right. I guess keep an eye out for the rest of the night before next watch. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, the rest of your watch goes without issue. Um, you can have third watch and we'll... We'll take a break. Okay. Or we can call it too. I know some people are tired too. It's up to you. I'll let y'all decide. We'll go and do the third watch right now. Hey. All right. Hey, let's switch. Let's go. Up. Up. I'm up. John, head to bed. I'm down. And then I fall asleep. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. John. Uh. Talk to Glitch about the thing. <laughs> All right. So, so Glitch, um, you know, you know about magic items and items and magic, correct? A little bit. All right, that's good enough. So, like, we think that, I mean, we think that that dagger is probably cursed in some way that went into Fane's arm. You saw, you saw the tattoo, right? Looking thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So like just so we're on the same page, I was there, I saw her grab a dagger and it went into her arm. Um 
I don't know what I don't know what what items do that. I don't know if you've heard of items that do that, but um, that sounds more like your thing. Uh, should probably check that more in the morning. Anyway, I'm going to bed, and then I go to bed. Go outside the card. <laughs> Find Liamman's hut. Only Providence and Bane were in the cart. Oh, okay. We'll do that instead. <laughs> Stand outside and look around at various things. Oh, yeah. Uh, to mention before I space out, there's a pile of bodies. It's not from the three we met on the road. This is something different. They're normal cuts and like they fought. They look like guards of some sort. So just just random dead bodies. Yep. Again, it's like I said to John. It's one thing after another. Cool. Yep. Okay. Let's go look at some bodies. Why? I just... Have fun with that. I'm taking here. I... That's enough mud for me. Good night. I'm still awake. I'm not going to bed. Oh, right. <laughs> no ass. I'll walk over to the bodies quick. Just like everybody else. You want to buy some? That's a I'm not going. Huh? It's like, fine. I don't want to go see dead bodies. Want to see a dead body? That's fine. Do a quick look. Doing an investigation check. So yeah, you I doing do that? Fourteen. Fourteen is higher than a nine. As you get closer, you can tell that um, most of them are human. Um, there is like one or two elves in there. No, not elves. Halflings and uh, I should know okay. there wouldn't be a halfling. Okay. Yeah, there'd be a halfling and a gnome. Okay. But most of them are humanoids of some sort. Alex said just regular weapons and stuff in a hole. Weird. <laughs> All right. I saw everything though. Head back to camp. So just a bunch of dead bodies. Yeah. Weird. It was some sort of fight. Why would you hide the body? Just mark down where we are and report this to the guards on the bridge as well. Unless these are the guards from the bridge. Ooh. Well, then we'll have to report these to somebody else. They're replacements, I guess. <sighs> Kalis, can uh -huh. you see through the horse's eyes? Kinda. Okay. And by kinda, I mean yes. Do you have to be touching the horse? 
Yes. That's interesting. Another gift from Australia. It's a gift from Australia. You should ask if you could transfer that power to something else that attaches to your head. The blindness isn't as much of a handicap for me as oh. people seem to think. I oh, just wonder. Like you said, it can't be fixed. Watch the storms and rain subside. There's a nice strong wind going right now. Ugh, that's worse. <laughs> can I go on? I'm gonna well, watch How and turn on my you? magic armor. <laughs> Sorry, what? what? How are you tired? It's been a long day. <laughs> you just... Okay. <laughs> Do you ever wake up and not just feel fully rested? It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Is this in-game just... or above table? <laughs> A little bit of both. <laughs> hey, might I roll a perception check for you guys? Not yet. Oh. Not yet, no. 21. 11. 22 for the listings, I guess. Yep. In this Somebody place. roll me a D100. You roll me a D100, I got it. Okay. I want to do it. 94. Oh. I don't like that look. <laughs> I don't Stop like that look either. <laughs> Get a pony. Oh, I hope it's something that bad. Something that eats rhinos. <laughs> it's a clap on, clap off rhino, and I clapped it off. Oh. <laughs> Save that one for later. Uh oh. I don't like that. Uh, your watch kind of goes by with that issue. Hmm. Good. I'm going to play with my armor and change it. I can turn on my magic armor to have that power is usually in the fists. Use my smithing tools and adjust it and all of a sudden the power I know energy turns into one object that's in the middle of a chest that lights up. Where do you learn how to do that? Uh, kind of a school, really. It was taught how. So it makes sense. You know, it's like creating. Where'd yeah, you now I can. Uh, right at my house. We had tutors. I also had tutors. Tutors are fun. I mean, I kind of wasn't allowed to go anywhere, so they kind of had to come to me. Eh. I think we just had them so my parents didn't have to look at us. And I fire a laser beam like thing out of my chest <laughs> at a tree <laughs> just to try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works still. Oh, I have an idea. Let's feed the horses. Yeah, we do still, I think, have a full bag of grain. Yeah. 
and they should have it. Let's not overfeed them. Do they get sluggish? Uh, they could choke, which is them getting it stuck in their throat. That's we really don't shove it down their throat. Okay, guys. So, okay, let's feed the horses. Slowly, yes, but yes. Okay. I'm gonna try and feed one out of my hand. Yeah, we hold your hand out like your toddler. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Just hold your palm like, open. Eh. No, and don't, 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 don't. Just really big lips relax. go across your hands. <laughs> <laughs> So awkward against horses. She just... <sighs> well, I mean, until these were the first horses I've ever been around. Really? I mean, I guess the ones that carried our slave cart around, but yeah. Hmm. There's a I mean, I saw place. travelers every now and then come in with them to the temple, but never interacted. Mm -mm. Huh. Weird. Just thought it was common. Everybody had a horse. Yeah. Or access to horses or touched mm -hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ernest is gonna just be quiet on that one completely. Touching horses? No. Owning horses. No. Oh. Did you not own a horse? Uh... But you're a princess, so you should have had, like, 50 horses. Again with the princess thing. Until you legitimately prove that you're not, I'm just gonna assume that you're the missing princess from the Elf Kingdom. I don't even... Okay. I'm th I, this is just a continuous argument that's just gonna, gonna go nowhere at this rate. Yes, 100%. Okay. But you no, no horses? No, I think I had a couple, but... I don't... Well, yeah. Hmm. Gonna... So you're not a princess. No. Nope. And you're not bald. Not anymore. Uh, were you going something with that, Kalis? Or no, I'm just trying to make a mental note. Uh, yeah. Are you both from the Elf Kingdom? I am for sure. I'm not sure about Glitch. No. I'm not. Uh, it's more rare to live in half elves, let's gonna be honest. Unless you're married to a full elf, human, half elf, it's rare bits snobbish. I mean I could tell from the whole not letting anybody in. And it seems like it's getting worse. Well, there is a missing princess. Hmm. Which is he kind of like narrows. Like you see his. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's got his blindfold on, but you can see his like <laughs> brows kind of scrunch towards you. I just nope, not getting into this right now with you. Hmm. What glitch? As she narrows her eyes at you now. Got something else to say? Are you the princess or not? <laughs> say yes or no. <laughs> Can move on. No. There we go. Done. 
I'll believe you. She's the queen. (laughs) (laughs) What? No? No. No. All right. I don't... Can't think of any other... Ranks. Ranks? What do you mean, pranks? Ranks. Oh, ranks. Oh, okay. Well, the Lord and Lady. And there's. Well, I do have a title, but not that high. Oh, there you we go. A title? I did, I did say I was a noble's daughter, so I am a lady. Hey, I got one. <laughs> lady. Lady Arwenus. Mm-hmm. He kind of gives you like a little bow. Oh, don't start doing that now, please. Gotta. No, don't. She's gonna like playfully elbow you. Like, stop it. Uh, a little more serious note. Mm-hmm. Did you guys get a really good look at what was going on with Fane? Yeah, it's an evil entity that kind of invaded her. And Verana, who connected both of us to each other, warned me. And it seems to be getting worse. Okay. I've got questions. Mm-hmm. But first... Mm-hmm. Did you get a sense of... that beast? I didn't sense it at all. She just told me she was fighting off an evil entity while I was trancing. And after we try to get Fane to summon it out of her, her eye just started to flame like crazy and then it went back to the full black again. Like nothing changed. The only thing I've ever seen with actual clarity in my life was that beast the night that it attacked my temple. I saw that beast too. The night, it, the day it attacked us on the ship. I saw that beast in Fane's arm. In her arm? Yeah, like where she said it was supposed I, I I I didn't see a dagger. That's not good. That's worse than we originally thought. And that's why I don't think cutting her arm off is going to stop whatever this is. And that's what I told them and they haven't. That's why she still has her arm. I said it would might probably make it worse. And I know that they said that they haven't seen this beast, but there is something connecting all of, all us? of us to this. I'm afraid all of us were chosen somehow. They did say... On that note, mm-hmm. you said somebody sp- connects you and Fane? Yeah, um... So, the genie that's stuck in the cards, she gave me my powers, and Fane hers, but totally different ways. Me with druid, animal, flame, Fane with her weird wizarding card shit. And she's actively trying to keep... Stop it, yeah. Keep it at bay. From what I understand. I don't know how. But that's what she told me. She was fighting it. I don't know anything about genies. All I know is she's a fire genie. And that we need to free her from the cards. Hopefully this... Order of the Goblets can really help us. I. Yeah. 
Was that it on the questions, or did you have more? No, that was pretty much okay. it. Okay. Whew. Do we have food to cook? I, I think we still rations. have rations. Yeah. Okay. So I don't say, need to worry about that. I say the wind has died down. It's now overcast and it's now morning, so everybody can take a long rest. And um, if y'all want, we can take a fiver, or if you want to call it, we can call it. It's up to you guys. I'm wired, but I can defer to the group. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey, go with whatever. We'll take a fiver. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Uh, stick with us. We'll take a fiver and uh, continue this up. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to go, but I got a good stopping point in mind. Okay. Guys, uh, stick around sweet. and uh, be right back. Okay. How long do we have? And welcome back Ugh. from our fiver. As you wake up, there's a nice overcast. Everybody gets their long rest. If you're not already taking it, what would you like to do? I'm assuming you want to eat, feed the horses. Eat, yeah, That's... feed the horses. Mm, we did that. Yeah. yeah, we did feed them during the night. So, but we probably should yeah. feed them the last of it before we head out. Just get up and go. I mean, you fed them early morning. They're fine. Oh yeah, early morning. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's in a hurry. No, let's eat. We need to eat. Otherwise, eat on the road. Tired. He can eat on the road. All right, fine. Yeah, let's let's eat on the road. I'm I'm let's, going to. Do, um... do you guys have food? We have rations. You do? Where'd you get the rations yeah. at? They were in our packs. We don't have our packs. That's right. Mm. Huh? Remember, yeah, we, we we lost everything and we're starting over, so we don't really no, technically but, have but everything. But they had they had put all of our stuff out for us when we went to do the stakeout. It's not rations. We we've been eating rations since we left. Mm-hmm. Like we've been using my rations lately. Well, we killed those other guards. They had rations. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So okay. From the guards. We got it from the guards. Okay. I was, I was like, we've <laughs> was like, actively hey. been. Like, <laughs> I know. We've actively been saying we've been eating rations. Yeah. yeah. We used like seven of mine last time because I cooked breakfast. Well, um, wake everybody well, up and let's go. I'm I'm going to also uh, make everyone immune to drowning. You already <laughs> did that. Cool. It only lasts 24 hours. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a daily card drawing. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna eat one of my rations. I'm gonna message you, Jugan. <laughs> oh no. What are you messaging me out of here? Oh no. Discord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Send me a photo of that shit. All right. We will. You guys keep talking. Okay, so. We all load up on the yep. cart to get moving. And I hold open the door for Arnus and say, my lady. Oh, will you stop it. God. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Thank you, Glitch. And I laugh very, and very go lucky. in first. And then I go in first anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that seemed more normal. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Do you have anything else, else about the bodies? No, I'm just... Oh, was there anything else, Glitch? <clears throat> no. no? Okay. Just, uh... All right. Yeah, halfling, halfling gnomes. As Fane casts mm -hmm. this spell... Oh, no. Black circle behind her appears. The spirit... The blackness and fire... Is gone. Oh. So a hole just opened up and ate the ghost. 
Bane is gone. Bane is gone. Everything. Bane, spirit, everything is gone. What just happened? Bane's Where did Bane go? I don't know. Where did she go? I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Uh, sword is immediately drawn. Uh, what? Uh, shouting out know. with thaumaturgy, just yelling out, Bane! Bane! No, I was Bane! Like, disappeared into a hole. Yeah, it was it, flame and cool. darkness and just... What the... Hey, Kalis, do you detect her anywhere? I... Yeah, I'll... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, well, there is evil inside of her, so I will use divine sense. <laughs> not, a, not a damn thing. Uh, Providence is going to drop down to her knees, and she's going to start praying to Sabrina. Wait, Verona. Can I hear Verona? Are you trying to talk to Verona? Yeah, to see if she can communicate with Bane. Get no response. Oh no. My lady Selfreda. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what your favorite part is. Uh, next time we have D and D live. It will be Friday for Dragonlance, where we can finally finish up this location. And I can take this piece down. Um. Uh, probably be live tomorrow painting. I got a lot of painting to do. And yeah. Thank you very much. And um, that works. Uh, check out JR the Nerd, Server Wolf, awesome streamers, friends of the channel. And we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Good night.